Hello everybody, welcome to Bowenomics. Uh, my video just cut off while I was recording the deck profile, so I'm probably just going to connect these together or upload them as two separate parts depending on how long it gets. But, uh, just did the main deck, so if you haven't watched part one, go check that out. But, continuing from where we left off, the extra deck. Uh, there's only two synchros in the deck, Herald of the Arclight and Forum of the Synchron, and I make both of them pretty regularly, so I'm glad I played these two. Um, other ones don't really come out come up that much the way I built it, so I'm glad. It's more of a Link spam deck, so I'm playing three Link 1s, Link Rebo, Almirage, Relinquished Anima. Relinquished Anima is the most cuttable, I think these two are like pretty mandatory, but I'll experiment. Um, Link 2s, IP Mascarena, really good, one of my end board pieces usually. Dark, he's been pretty good so far, just because I played Tirashizu, but obviously it could be really bad versus some matchups. But yeah, like I said, I only played Tirashizu, so, you know, meta calls. Um, and it just worked out. Nightmare Unicorn, really good. I need a good Link 3. So Ayuya, he was the underrated, uh, undisputed GOAT today. Um, I put him in kind of last second. I had another Link 2, like a Phoenix or a uh, Pit Knight Eerly as a possible replacement. But I put him in. He just, you know, a Link 4 that comes up a lot and another attribute for Axis Code, um, which sometimes matters. And uh, speaking of the double Axis Code here, he is probably, you know, the most expensive card in the deck, but... Definitely worth it, kind of mandatory to play, help out decay, and then Appaloosa, uh, go into this a lot. Underworld Goddess is an IP target, but also I just have hard made her before when I have a lot of bodies that I don't know what to do with, so. Pretty satisfied with my extra deck, um, and then I also play three Xyz, so I play two Lyrilisk Recital Starling, newly semi-limited, and then the Zeus to go along with it. Zeus has not come up uh, in real life, obviously I only played three rounds, but he has online, and Recital Starling, sometimes I really get to utilize both of them to boost the attack, or you know, just stats of my Herald or of my Appaloosa, and then they also search DD Crow. So this is how I search DD Crow, and it has proven to be very good so far. Um, um, and also, I use it as a body for IP because I need a non-link, so this is one of the main ways I do that. So that's the extra deck. Overall, uh, I don't think I'll change anything right now, but depending on, you know, how the meta shifts and stuff, I could do like a Nightmare Phoenix for back or hit or whatever. Token. Um, not needed. But this is my side deck. It didn't come up really at all. I had two anti-spells. Uh, like I said, I main deck mainly for tier issues. So, in all three of my matchups, you know, I had the same matchup. I, my side deck pattern was pretty pretty much the same. Versus tier going first, I put in, like, these two. Like, just one anti-spell, one solemn. Um, Royal Decree didn't come up, but it's for trap decks. Harpies for trap decks. Dark Ruler, never put it in. Lancey, I played one. Like I said, this is, like, I didn't really get to come back and revamp this so this is still my one of from when i played scythe so i had dagda you know where i could just set a lancy if i needed to so i guess i just kept this in for the flunder matchup but this definitely could use some work so i wouldn't take this to like a big event or anything but for locals like i said i only played two Shizu, so it doesn't really matter three nibiru like i said kind of uh, an archive from the past but i didn't put them in for anything obviously just those two issues and i don't think it's good versus them and I'm already main decking my hate, so I didn't change a lot of stuff at all. Pankertops, didn't put them in. I only going second, put in two droplets. And then here's another going first card, Prohibition. I put this in like once. And I made it, just made my end board stronger, but it didn't win me the game, didn't really help. And then my two droplets that I own now, also expensive, definitely not mandatory. I used to think they were pretty mandatory, but they kind of fell off. They're not great, this format. But I side them in going second. This is the only thing I sided, I think, versus tier. I kept my two ashes in. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for going second. Just the two droplets. My crows, bishuls, and everything are already in there, so I just bank on those. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Um, that's my Morphtronic. First place undefeated locals profile. I don't. I think I 2 0 someone once. I either 2 0 or didn't have any 2 0s, but I definitely had two game threes at least. So, weren't easy wins by any means, uh, but obviously, that's to be expected of a deck that's stronger than yours, but you know. This worked out. You just got to play the DD Crows, Bishuls, Ashes, and time them appropriately. So, thank you all for watching. Um, Morphtronic's my favorite deck, so I'm glad I was able to do well. This is the first time I topped with them in a while, but I also haven't played them at all in, like, the last three formats. So, glad I was able to get to it and kind of build a profile for them. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, more Morphtronic content, let me know. Um, but also, you know, Virtual World's my main, like, competitive deck, even though it's not that good right now. So, I'm going to just play both when I can. You guys, uh, let me know what you want to see. If you have any questions, I have a lot I want to elaborate on. So, please comment, ask me questions. I'd be happy to explain. But yeah, I um, think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.
Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas if you're watching this before Christmas. Happy holiday season overall, and thanks again. Have a good day or night. Peace.